Okay, uh, I think we can get started. Um, uh, let's see, not a lot of dramatic news today, but uh, we have we have uh, two viewers out in test now um, in in release channels. The uh, the render viewer and a maintenance viewer. Um, the maintenance viewer has a bunch of fixes in it and uh, is doing better than the render viewer in in crash rate, but not dramatically so. Um, so either of those is potential candidate for promotion. Uh, if I had to bet, it would be the maintenance viewer, but I don't have to bet, so. Um, uh, so those are coming. Uh, there are a bunch of other things in the pipeline behind those, including uh, estate management improvements, uh, the um, caching stuff, uh, another update to voice. Um, I'm actually on a test viewer for that now, um, and uh, but there's a there's a startup bug that needs to be addressed before we'll release that one. Um, and uh, a bunch of other random changes, but it's all coming all coming along. Um, and I think that's basically the the news. Uh, we have we have begun to reach the season of the year where People start taking vacations, and that disrupts schedules a little bit, but, uh, you know, we'll get through it, uh, including I was out for a little while. Uh, so the floor is open. Wow, yet another quiet crew. Uh, let's see, Since this meeting is recorded, Kitty, I'm not going to say anything definitive, um, but our interpretation of GDPR compliance does not include in-world, um, or GDPR requirements does not include um, in-world activity as part of the data that is covered by the law. Yeah, actually, uh, you know, while we've been paying very close attention to GDPR, um, and there's a little bit of work that we're doing to make sure that we're fully prepared to deal with it, mostly we were already doing uh, everything it requires, so or nearly everything that it requires. Right. The, the good news is that... Um... We never considered personal data an asset that we would use for um, things that the GDPR doesn't allow it to be used for.
in, in fact, in internal discussions uh, about how to message uh, the blog post that went out recently, we really kind of wanted to say we'd love to take this opportunity to congratulate ourselves on uh, <laughs> having a good moral compass, um, but it kind of is out of scope. <laughs> Right. Uh, so, as far as that SEC is concerned, um, I, I'm not I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna what we're gonna do about that. Um, so, I mean, we're aware of it. It's in the queue. Um, it's not clear what is worthwhile to do about it. Uh, it is. I I don't know how many times I have to. I have to say, it is simply not possible to protect textures. Um, and while some mechanisms for getting the UUIDs of textures are easier than others, the UUIDs of textures are trivially capturable. And anybody who pays even a little tiny bit of attention can not only capture them, but capture the data that they point to. They're bits, they can be copied. Sorry. Yeah, it's it's possible to make that argument. Um, I'm not sure that it's a difference. It's, it's a, I think it's a distinction without a difference, really. But as I said, we haven't decided what we're going to do about that particular feature yet. I just don't want to I don't I don't want to give the impression that we can prevent all texture copying um, regardless of what we do about that issue which which you know on the flip side doesn't mean that we don't make efforts to deter it yeah Any other topics? You guys are making these meetings awfully easy. Coffee had another question up there in chat. Oh. Uh, yeah, it scrolled by. I, my window's too small. Let me look. When an avatar is banned from a parcel, they no longer receive any information about individual items on the parcel. I don't know.
Um, could I, I I put a comment in the in the in that original bug report saying get in touch with us about how to recover data, and no one has gotten in touch with us. So um, I need to I need I, I, I'm I'm prepared to make some accommodations, but I'm not going to roll the bug fix back grid wide in order to do that. So you need to get in touch with me and we'll see whether or not it's possible to, to recover stuff. I... Right now, I don't understand what's, what's needed. Um, or where, more specifically, where it's needed. That's the that's the big problem. Right, good. So what Oz is saying is that we have a way for you to do that, uh, and you need to get in touch with them, and uh, we'll walk you through it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't remember any intentional change for, for not sending data about parcels you're banned from. It, it, it may be that I just spaced Which it. Which is not to say we didn't do it. Well, no, <laughs> it's, it's not. This sounds like a, a, a JIRA. Perhaps a feature request or a bug report would be fine too. Uh, it it would not be the first time Whirly remembered something I'd forgotten. But there was that one time I remembered something that Whirly didn't. I didn't have it <laughs> marked in my calendar. <laughs> well, that would be something worth noting. No, I, I mean, I'm sure if we changed it, we had some sort of a reason to do so. Um, and it wouldn't be the first time that there were some unintended side effects to a change. Uh, and we may decide that it's still better the way that it is. Yeah, Simon's, Simon's not here today, so we can't, we can't check with him. That would have been the that would have been the place I'd check, but uh, he's one of those people taking vacation. I, I signed up for being bald, not being hairless. That, <laughs> Actually, we're we're delighted to have have been able to help with 
such a great fundraising effort and it was quite successful, I guess. So that's terrific. Okay, uh, that's great. Um, if you can get me that stuff by Monday, we can probably arrange for something to be uh, rolled as part of the regular RC rolls uh, next week. And um and and get it sorted out Any other new topics? Uh, are there any published guidelines for the use of temp resors? I don't know of any offhand, but I'm, I don't pretend to have a comprehensive thing. I know that there are, there are throttles on, there, there are a couple of throttles that are applicable. Um, basically, the guideline is is what you would expect it to be. Don't do anything that interferes with other people's ability to use Second Life. Yeah.
yeah, the 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 abuse report category is coming from the region cap. Um, it we got a little bit slowed down there on getting all the translations done, but uh, those are in final test now and should be available on uh, on Agni quite soon. Um, and uh, we have the viewer that does them uh, coming out uh, in the next week or two. Uh, so um, yeah, that's that's coming along. Um, and uh, that'll be a nice thing to have people pick up. I think I'll I think I'll avoid going and taking a look at those.
there is a an update in the pipe for all flavor of uh, offline notifications. Um, we have a new cap that returns the your offline notices so that they are reliably delivered um, instead of sending out a giant blast of UDP, many of which will be dropped. Um, so that's in testing now and should be available real soon. Um, turned out that there were a couple of things that had to get had to get tweaked internally to make that work right, but it's Any other topics? We're halfway through our time. Thank you, Coffee. All right, uh, I guess we're done. I will see you all in two weeks. Come with questions. Bye. Bye. Wow.